All right, here we are. Away from Kira, back again. Welcome to the next episode. No, this is not the announcement. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, we made it to Queensland. So this episode is probably going to be the Overland Away episode. So right out to Port Douglas where we start work. So yeah, so right now we are in Mount Isa. Kira's just getting ready to go out for the day. She's brushing her hair. So yeah, we're going to go see a couple of free sites. So see some lookouts, probably the lake here. And and yeah, it should be a good day. Just got a whole day here, just to chill and relax. Hello. So yeah, and then I don't know, then probably make our tracks on to Julia Creek. Julia Creek. I'm excited about Julia Creek. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you, we'll let the next video decide what that what's on to that. So that's some really bad English, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Meh. Meh. So. Meh. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go. See you soon. Alright, alright, okay. Alright, here we are. Back again. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we just had breakfast and so we're just gonna decided to come and have a look around and we're going to the probably the main lookout point of Mount Isa so it could be actually Mount Isa itself but I don't know here's taking some photos and um, we'll swing it around in a second we haven't actually seen the top yet so we'll wait and see so Mount Isa. Oh, yeah it is Mount Isa there you go um yeah oh that's pretty cool a little fun fact about Mount Isa it is actually a mining town I'll swing it around in a second just to, to explain how it is a mining town. So yeah, there's a pretty cool um, <laughs> water tower there. It's got some plaques on us, so check that out. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so you can see behind us. A bit windy up here, so excuse, excuse if you can't hear us. Um, but yeah, this uh, there's some cool stories about the mining town. People have lived here for years, heaps of years. And literally, you step right at the mine, mine yeah, site. So you're, so, so, down. I'll just I'll stand here at the fence. You ready? Three, two, one. There it is. <laughs> so. So up in that corner over there, I don't know if you can see over there. Um, there's a house over there because it's the the miner, the head mining wife didn't like staying in the dongers, which I don't blame her because they're not the greatest at times. Mm. So they literally made a mansion, which is over in that corner. Yeah. For her to live in. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's a pretty cool thing. There's some famous people that have come from here as well. Um, you'll see the signs when you come in. It's a yeah, good giggle over um, it. Who is it? The famous golfer. I can't remember his name. We'll find the sign and we'll, we'll add it in because oh, I can't right. remember exactly. Yeah. And then it shows you a sign up here how far away things are from here. Yeah, so there's quite a few on that. So, yeah, yeah, Perth, 2,659 kilometres away. We're so close to home. So close yet so far. Alice Springs, 640, 640, 674. There, there you go. So that's that's our view at the moment. Big old mining town. Anyway, so enjoy. We'll keep back soon. Right, just a quick shout out to Oz Wild Clothing. Um, Belle is the owner, and she's in Victoria. Uh, she's got some great stuff out at the moment. She's got like shirts, jumpers, rugby shorts, which Tom lives in. She's got bathers, she's got hats. You think about it, she's probably got it. Um, but in the long run, she is going to be getting uh, a new winter collection coming out soon as well. Uh, if you use our code CHEESY10, it will give you a CHEESY10% discount. Um, so head over to the website. We'll put the link in our bio for this one. Um, and yeah, shout out to Belle, as I said. and. Yeah, support local businesses in Australia and welcome back. Back again. Back again. That was very close. Um, Alright, here we are. Uh, made it to Julia Creek. Uh, it's hot. It's damn it's hot. hot. Sticky, I think, more than hot than anything. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of locusts, ironically. I think it's because of the rain. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you in store what's coming up. 
because we've got something pretty cool to show you. But we'll leave that till later when we do it. So now well, it's quarter quarter to two. So we're gonna go and have a look around the town. Where I go just the street. Yeah, we're kind of just one main road in and out. So yeah. Anyway, we'll probably do a little bit of recording whilst we're in the streets, so you guys can have a look. Not much, but yeah. Um, Very quiet at the moment though. Oh yeah, <clears> yeah. You can definitely it, tell it's the wrong season. But. Yeah, as it is everywhere that we've been. But anyway, um, yeah, we didn't record anything in Curry, uh, one of the big towns we passed through. Birthplace of the Royal Flying Doctor, so... But we didn't stop there, so... Yeah, go and check it out yourself. Probably be def definitely worth stopping, but we didn't. Because we, I mean, we were only driving for five minutes, sort of things. So there was like no real point of stopping now from my eyes off. So, yeah. So I'm going to look around, probably going to jump in the pool after this, so, which is good. Definitely. So, yeah. See you soon. Alright, here we are, back again. Um, so, this is a little thing we got going for us at Julia Creek. So, oh, I mean. There's our view, so it's a pretty cool view. Got some cows off in the distance, so yeah. yeah. This, is, this is Kira's thing that she's been wanting for a while, so suddenly we've got the treat. So, right here, three, two, one. Artesian baths. We and we've got a grasshopper in one of them. Oh, there he goes. And, well, he, he's not doing very well, he's trying to get out of the place, so yeah. Yeah, artesian baths. We got, we got a few little. We finally got out of here. Yeah, that. Right, so yeah, that's it. That's all it was. So uh, yeah, and we'll get a couple of photos of the place. But yeah, that's all it was. This would be nice. Artesian. I assume that means it's from the bore underneath the ground. So and we have got bath salts. There. Yeah. See you soon. Hey guys, uh, back again. Um, <laughs> so here we are at um, where are we? Julia Creek. Julia Creek. Yeah, the Julia Creek campground. So a um, little update. Uh, though, the, yeah, here we go. <laughs> a short story at the moment. Um, so the, the weather forecasted partly cloudy, low winds, nothing else to it. But also. We are in the low season, therefore we are in the tropical season, so it can change. And so it changed. It changed hard. So whilst we were having a nice relaxing bath, yeah. Um, you'll see some videos of like the rain yeah, coming through. Yeah, don't worry, you'll see all that. But um, it came through a damn near like cyclonic winds sort yeah. of thing. So, hashtag Coleman, love your tent, but it it died. It died on us, and well, hang on. It's a good tent. We're not going to take that away. It was a good tent, Coleman. So and it served us well for a couple of months. Yeah. Um, but wind tested, uh, patented design for fair to medium conditions. Camping, yeah, it was, camping um, edition. But it was a little bit more than that. Like I said, it was cyclonic. So we've talked to the um, campground owners, caretakers, caretakers, which are well. I mean. We're, we're in we're in accommodation. We've got a nice, clean bed, warm bed, because uh, I mean, well, that's our bed now, so it's absolutely soaked. And our bed sheets. Bed sheets and all. I got okay. So I got to the tent. I ran from the bath, which is about five hundred meters. Mm. I ran from the bath, and as I got to the tent, it was about to literally lift off the ground. So I like flopped yeah. on the tent yeah. just to hold it down, and so, thankfully got stuff to put on top. So these aren't drenched as much as I thought they were going to be. So, so yeah. But um, so now we just have to sort out where we're going to stay in Hewenden, and then towns we're in the camp trailer, so that's not too bad. And then we got to Port Douglas, which is an actual house as well. So, yeah. Anyway, so we just laugh. it was a good laugh. So it means we just need to go and either sort out what what the hell we're going to do with that tent, or we're just going to have to buy a new one. So we just have to wait and see. Anyway, thanks. Stay cheesy. Stay, stay cheesy. <laughs>
So Tom is currently going fossil hunting. Uh, we are in Richmond in Queensland. Uh, there's a little fossil site that you can go hunting at. Um, so we shall see. He's walked off with a little shovel and his hammer. So I think his little childhood loving of dinosaurs moment is coming alive right now. Um, I am going to go help in a sec. Just thought I'd sit back in the shade for two minutes. But, yeah. Flies are great though. Here he comes. Look a bit sweaty there, buddy. <sighs> and a bit dirty. That's what it takes to be a paleontologist nowadays. Okay. <clears throat> Did you find anything? I don't know. I hope so. Your hands seem to have found a lot of dirt. Mud. And my feet. Oh, Jesus Christ. You went fossil hunting? <laughs> the car can tell from that? Yeah, just a bit. Um, what did you get? <laughs> um, well, uh, well, it's going to be hard to see because they're not really cleaned or anything like that. Well, that's, uh, we'll go that way. That's the part of, the part of a clam just there. So, if you know, you can hear clam, bivalve, one's open, close. Uh, this one uh, was believed to be part of an, another part of the shell, which would probably be shell fragments all through here. By the way, we got to, this was all told by a, um, by a the lady at the visitor's the lady at a visitor's so house. she studies all this stuff. So, so she's, she's like a part-time paleontologist or something. Like that. Yeah. And this is the coolest one. So, um, well, right there and here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, they're fish scales, we believe. I haven't really pulled it apart because I didn't really. I was a bit scared to do it with just a, a bloody, a bloody hammer. Yeah. <laughs> so. And yeah. the other bit on the other side. Look. Around there. Ah, uh, so and also around this sort of area, we can't really make it out yet. But I get a probably get like a toothbrush or something like that. Yeah. I'll scrape it away. Um, it looks like there might be uh, fish bones yeah. on there. So. That's not bad for uh, five bucks, uh, free entry. Or five, five minutes as well. Five, five, uh, five to fifteen minutes worth of uh, bloody fossicking for fossicking for fossils. So yeah, five bucks at uh, where are we? Richmond. Yeah. Yeah, on part of the uh, the dino the dinosaur trail. So yeah, yeah bloody awesome. Definitely yeah. worth coming to have a look at if you're a big kid or small. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, worth it. Come check it out. about to drive into. I'll get them. <laughs> Hugh and Dan. Hugh, Hugh and... Hugh and Dan. There we go. What the hell was that? I <laughs> forgot how to say it for a second then. Hugh and Dan. Tom keeps giving me crap about it because when I first saw the word I couldn't say it properly. Hugh and Dan. So it's now Hugh and Dan. It's not that, but yeah. It's definitely Hugh, how they say it. Last one of the... Um, Dinosaur Trail. Now the Dinosaur Trail starts in Richmond, Richmond and I it goes down to Winston. Yeah, it's literally a triangle. Like a, yeah, a triangle shape. That's a square. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Richmond, Winston, and Hughend. Um, yeah, Winton at the moment's kind of. They've said that nothing's really open over this time of the year, so that's why we haven't really it's gone good. that way. We had, we had other reasons to go down there because it's not out there. It's opal fields down there. Uh, and Tom really wants an opal, so, you know, we we thought we'd go there, but unfortunately, unfortunately we couldn't. But, um, yeah, so we'll be in Ewenden for the night. We're staying in a cabin because our tent is still... Broken. Uh, yeah, still broken. Um, so, yeah. Uh, oh. Shall be good. fossil field um, here in Hewenden. Uh, we've been here for a little bit and we're all nice and sweaty because we've been trying to crack rocks open. Um, I found these which probably are absolutely nothing but they looked absolutely cool so yeah. Again, pretty cool rock if you ask me. A lot of things going on here so that's like a scale or something along there. Some shells in there. Yeah. There we 
Mm, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Honey.